I started making videos uh, when I was a teenager, as a kid. Uh, I was a skateboarder, so I made a lot of skateboard videos. Uh, I'd shoot my buddies skating, and then they'd shoot us. We'd travel around and find different skate spots and try to make uh, cool skate videos, and then we'd send out sponsor tapes uh, in hopes of you know, getting sponsorships and free skateboard gear and stuff like that. When I was pretty little, my friends liked to make movies, and for some reason, I just liked to edit them. And I originally kind of wanted to go to film school, and then I got talked out of it. And then after I went to school, I decided I wanted to go back to the video anyway, so. When I was young, I was always writing and drawing. I remember one time in, in second grade, we were given a, an assignment to write like a one-page short story or something like that. And I ended up writing a story that was maybe like 10 pages long, and I illustrated the entire thing because I just wanted to be involved in the entire creative process. But some teachers really liked it and had me read it in front of other classes and stuff like that. And in hindsight, it actually just sounds like I was bad at following directions, but I, I just always really enjoyed telling a story. And as I got older, that passion kind of turned into to filmmaking. As long as I can remember, I loved film, I loved movies. Really, aside from playing music, making films was the, the oldest desire I can remember, really. Like, back in middle school, I was reading books on how to make film back before I could get my hands on a camera. One of my favorite parts about the job is not just meeting different types of people, but I also like helping them uh, get results. I like helping people uh, execute their ideas. A lot of people will come to us sometimes with some great ideas and they're just not sure how to produce the video or how to execute it. So I like coming alongside people as a partner to help them produce cool videos that are gonna get people to uh, click on their website or buy their product or um, you know volunteer for their nonprofit. Um, well, I read a lot for the school newspaper in college and learning how to write for an audience and being edited uh, at the newspaper. It, for some reason for me, it translated a lot to video editing. Like I, I really think that editing is uh, almost a universal thing just with different uh, mediums. Before I uh, was video editing at Aiden Media, I was working at uh, United Way of Lancaster County and I did actually do some video work there and now it's just picking up stuff on my own and that's that's sort of what kind of turned me back to editing after college was uh, being making videos just kind of going around with a point and shoot camera and editing, editing them together and people seemed to like that so I wanted to get back into it. One thing I do really enjoy um, that I don't always have the the luxury of of experiencing is when we hear back from clients regarding the success of the video that we made for them. The clients will tell us, you know, their website sales increased by this number, or, you know, they got this many new fans on their Facebook, or it, it's, it's just nice seeing how a video you made kind of worked in the real world and accomplished the goal that it was, was set out to do. I'm passionate about working at Ada Media because this is one of my greatest passions in life. Despite the time and the efforts and oftentimes frustrations that go into a shoot, it's something that I just have this unlimited passion for. You're working a really long double day, but by the end of that day, I am still as, I am still as excited to get that last shot as I am to get that first one. When you're, when you're running a video company or when you have to come to work every day, um, you have to find new ways to, like I said, kind of fall back in love or you have to find ways to find the passion uh, over and over again with making a video. I like high energy. I like things that, you know, you find a really good music track to and you edit to the beat and things like that and, and that, that hype type video, that high energy. Whether, for me, like I said, when I first started making videos, it was skateboarding and things like that. So my passion would be creating videos that you just want to watch again and again. Say, hey, run that back. We're going to watch that one more time.